Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today on Pulling Brilliance Out in STEM, we are going to look at five ways to use Google Augmented Reality 3D animals to bring learning to life. I'm sure you all are doing remote learning with your little ones as we're stuck in the house. So let's look at how we can bring this exciting tiger into your kitchen too. So stay tuned if you'd like to see more. So what is augmented reality? Augmented reality, or simply AR, refers to a simple combination of real and virtual worlds. Given a real subject, captured on video or camera, the technology adds to the real world image with extra layers of digital information. So you can access the 3D animals on Google simply using your smartphone. I've tried it with both the iPhone and Android and it works great. Open up your browser and type in the animal that you'd like to see. Next, scroll down a little bit and click right there where it says view in 3D. Next thing you know, you'll have a lion in your living room. Here you can see Preston was having a lot of fun posing next to the lion. That brings us to our first idea, which is have a living room safari. Discuss the different types of animals that live in the African safari with your little ones, and then set off in your Jeep for a safari tour. Look up cheetah, leopard, lion, or snake as one of the animals that you might explore. Next, you can try adopting a pet. Discuss the responsibilities associated with caring for a pet. Pick out a name for your pet, and then let it loose in your house. You can choose some of the traditional animals like a dog, cat, or turtle. Here's a list of all of the ones offered through the Google Animals feature. We selected a little Pomeranian. We thought about naming her Rona. Here is a picture of the kids playing with her. Next up, you can choose to do a backyard expedition where you take your talents and your smartphone to the backyard or the front porch or whatever outdoor space that you have to take a look at some animals that might be a little bit more common where you live, like a deer or a wolf. We chose a brown bear and you can see the detail in the fur. It really looks pretty realistic. Um, our Livy girl was kind of scared, but the boys really enjoyed seeing the animals up close and personal. You can also do a wet and wild animals adventure and look at animals that live in or near water like alligators or sharks and have a really fun experience there as well. Think about making it creative, create a little robo, put some chairs together, make it fun. You can also choose your very own adventure and here you can see a complete list of the different animals that you can explore in 3D using the Google Augmented Reality feature right from your smartphone. And don't forget to make it fun. You want to make sure that you take pictures using the built-in camera feature. You can also take video using the um, record your screen feature. I use that on my iPhone. You can get into character, putting on silly hats or making a rowboat. Um, and then also you can really develop this as a learning opportunity by having your kids think about two or three questions that you can look up afterwards to promote inquiry-based learning. And this piece doesn't have to be super difficult. You can definitely use Google or any other voice assistant to say things like, hey Google, what do sharks eat? And have an entire lesson around the different information that's presented. I'll link a card above to one of our other videos that might be helpful with this. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn that bell on so you get notifications. And follow us at PBO in STEM on Instagram. Please tag us in photos that you take of you and your little ones using the 3D app feature in Google. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.